What's good YouTube, it's West Guy Jordan. In today's video, I got a free Studio One 5 vocal template or presets, whatever you wanna choose to use, they will all be here to download in the description below. It's absolutely free, you can download it, all right? Record with it, finesse it, turn it into whatever you want to turn it in. If you like some of the presets, keep it. You want to add on to it, do it. Find these takeaway plugins. That's cool. I don't care. I'll just give you something to start with. So, absolutely free. So, I'm going to show you what to do, and I got some tips for you. So, let's get into the video. All right. This is a template. It's very simple. Very simple. I just have, you know, four vocal tracks down here, a record track, a beat effects. And on the beat effects, I have like. EQ settings for like certain effects, right? Like if we don't want no high end, that's like the underwater effect. You can turn it on after you drag it down in here. Good to go. Like high mid, you know, it's kind of boosted in the mid. This is boosted on the highs, you know, just something to be with, you know, some creative, whatever. And then you can swap between these presets that I got for you over here, like three plugs. Um, this is on the delay, so that's a delay ox that's over here. You know, all these presets will be available for you. Like, if you want to use my reverb preset, add on to it, you can. If you want to change the analog delay, you can. The groove delay, you can. Um, I have vocal bender here, but if you don't have vocal bender, you can put a little ultra boy. Don't matter. You know, this has the telephone kind of effect on it. Kind of, not, not telephone effect, but yeah, it cut some of the low end out. Had to, had to remember what the fuck I did right there. And I just got something right here on the bus. It's very simple. You don't have to keep that there. It's up to you on how you want to do this, right? Um, I just hit the microphone. And some of the things you need to know when it comes to Studio One Five, you control the sins, right? So, like, if you don't want to record with no sins at all, turn them off, all right? Turn them off. If you want to control the reverb, you don't have to go over here and turn the reverb down. You go here and you adjust the sin level, all right? Same thing for the delay. Like, if you don't want to record with no delay, turn it off. You don't want that delay on, turn it off, all right? Like, if you want to record with vocal bender, you just go here and hit bender, and it's going to give you that right there. So now you control how much of the vocal bender that you want to record with, right? Very simple. And like I say, we can turn those off. And then for the inserts, I have different ones. It's like try me on stock, record with me, and it's the one that got three plugins. All right. And the cool thing about this is let's say, let's say, let's take this off. Um, let's remove this plugin. So let's say we don't want that, but we want to put it back. All we do is go here and drag that over, right? Drag that right over. <laughs> and it's back. Simple, just like that. This is the cool thing about Studio One Five. Like we could just take certain plugins. So let's say if we just want, I guess this gate, we could just drag this gate over. And now we got the gate, right? And we ain't even have to load a brand new preset. We just pull in certain things that we want from these presets that we like. If we don't want it, we can just take it off. Very simple. Or like once you get it, you can go in and save it. Like once you save it, you can go in here and be like, you know what? I like the ones I recorded with. So now I can put that on. Wait, let me put that back. Let me try this one. I can do that. Very simple. <laughs> this shit very simple. Oh, no, I'll be like, oh, I want the one with three plugins. Or uh, boom, three plugins. Simple. And another tip when it comes to recording Studio One Five, you want to go over here and always adjust your tempo. Right? You always want to adjust the tempo. That's very important because that's going to help you align stuff to the grid. That's going to get your reverb timings right, your delay timing set to the session. And another thing that you need to be aware of, and I don't think too many people are aware of this, but this dead space, you need to cut that, all right? See, I didn't cut it in here for all reason. So you want to cut this dead space. You kind of want to start where the beat starts, right? So you want to kind of like go in here and cut that, right? You want to cut that out. All right, you want to cut that out and you want to slide this down, right? You'll be a lot better. Just do that. I did not do that because I had to show you in the video. Because once you do that, like this little dead space right here is going to throw your grid off. And you want to be able to be synced to the grid when you do your beat edits and your stutters and stuff like that. That'll help you a lot. So make sure you cut out the dead space in your beat, right? So that's like a quick little rundown of the template now like i recorded this with a snowball microphone so you can kind of see what's going on because i know a lot of people have studio microphones and stuff like that i used a usb microphone to make this template like i usually do because if i use a usb template not a template but if i use a usb microphone 
it should sound better with a studio microphone, right? So if I can get it to sound good with a USB microphone, a studio microphone will do magic. So this is what it sounds like so far. The vocal recording is not going to be perfect because my little girl was running around the background and shit. So let's just see what we got. She believe in fairy tales and night to lies very well. She believe in fairy tales and night to lies very well. Very well, well. <laughs> yeah. She believe in fairy tales and night to lies very well. I tell lies very well. I tell lies very well. Ha, this ain't no love story though. I'ma leave you broken hearted. I'ma leave you broken hearted. I'ma leave you broken hearted. <laughs> this ain't no love story though. I'ma leave you broken hearted, broken hearted, broken hearted. Hey, like it's not nothing super crazy, it's just simple, right? And you can sit here and switch between these presets because I honestly don't remember which ones I had on here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. She believe in fairy tales and night to lies very well. She believe in fairy tales and night to lies very well. So like we can make fairy adjustments, you know well, what I'm saying? Well, so let's say we wanna do it like this. Gee, yeah. She believe in fairy tales and night to lies very well. I tell lies very well. I tell lies very well. You know what I'm saying? Ha. This ain't no love story though. I'ma leave you broken hearted. I'ma leave you broken hearted. I'ma leave you broken hearted. <laughs> this ain't no love story though. I'ma leave you broken hearted. Broken hearted, broken hearted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's simple, like a snowball microphone. You know what I'm saying? Like, your shit should sound better if you record, right? Right? Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a perfect recording, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be more relatable to the people that record at home because I know a lot of people that record at home does not have, like, thousands of dollars worth of analog gear. They don't have microphones that cost more than $300. A lot of people don't have, like, like the high, high-end shit. You know what I'm saying? So I try to make my templates and presets with, like, the $50 microphones, the $100 microphones, the $10 microphones, you know what I'm saying? I try to do that so y'all can be able to make good shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if I can finesse it and make the um, cheap shit sound good, you should be able to finesse it, too, you know what I'm saying? It all depends on how you want to do it. Like, you go in here and change the compression if you need to, change the gate if you need to, change the EQ if you need to, change the de if you need to, change the reverb sends, amounts, all this stuff if you need to. None of this stuff is supposed to be set in stone. It's not going to be 100% perfect. But listen, these are free presets, free template, finesse it, change it to however you want to change it. Just rock out. Have fun. All right? Just have fun. Enjoy. But listen, make sure you like. Comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Jordan. I'm out of Cool. <laughs>